robot's motion control happens through the action of rotating and sliding joints. The relative motion of all the joints in a robot decides how freely a robot can operate within a given space. This space is what we call as work volume. Work volume protects the robot as well as the person working with the robot. The motion joints in a robot determine the degrees of freedom a robot can have. Degrees of freedom means number of individual movements a robot contains based on its motion joints. It could be either linear or rotational motion. The motion system of a robot also controls the end effector. End effectors are basically grippers or tools attached at the wrist of the robot and used for some job. For example, we can take a robot that polishes glass using a grinding machine as its end effector. There are various work possibilities just by changing the end effector.